to the dyno room here at KP Racing. Um, we just finished up a dyno session with this 632. It's an all aluminum, uh, 12 degree headed uh, 632 that I built for a customer a couple of years ago. Um, he's been racing it with this carburetor and um, he was looking for some more power so we brought it in and um, he wanted EF5. So we took this old carburetor off and we put a uh, Holly EF5 on it. Um, I'm not here to bash on carburetors. Uh, I like carburetors and um, and I just thought that this was a this this was a customer's decision. And uh, basically, what we're doing here is, is we took the carburetor off and we put the CFI on. We're using this uh, uh, Wilson manifold throttle body, um, Holly Smart coils, Holly EFI Termex ECU and wiring harness, uh, Deep Works 1200 CC injectors, and um, and yeah. <laughs> What we have here are uh, two pulls. Uh, pull 16 in the, his run file was the last pull that we made on this engine with the carburetor. Um, it took me um, 11 pulls to get this thing really dialed in and, and happy with the EFI. Um, the EFI pull is on top here. You can see it's pretty cool. It, even, even at its closest point, um, back here around 62, 6300 RPM, um, the EFI was still um, even better there by, looks like we're looking at 1166 versus 1183. But then when you get back up on the top end of the power, um, this thing's making peak at 72. Um, we made 1,257 horsepower um, on EFI, 1,214 horsepower with the carburetor. Um, same fuel, same same engine, same cam, same everything. Um, really, the only difference here is the EFI system versus the carburetor. Um, I will say it was interesting. Um, I had to keep reminding myself throughout the pool and the dyno session that the spark plug doesn't lie. In my experience on a couple of these where I had a particular engine running with a carburetor and went to EFI, the EFI motor is requiring about three to four degrees more timing to get the same plug read on the plug. I attribute that to atomization. I think that the carburetor atomizes the fuel a whole lot better, um, so you don't need quite as much lead to uh, to get the fuel burn. I think with the EFI and the injector super low, spraying the fuel more of a stream, not great atomization, and bigger droplet size in the combustion chamber, I think that we're just having to hit it with a little bit more time to get all that burnt. So uh, thanks for coming and uh, checking out our videos, and I hope you enjoy them, and uh, stay tuned. Thanks.